I guess I'll I'll just ask you how much you're looking forward to beating on somebody else instead of you guys have been practicing since August. Yeah, we uh, it has felt like a really long time. You know, uh, when you take into account when we start practice, Dan, like late July, something like that, July 25th, I think. So uh, you know, we're a little bit tired of running into each other, running into each other's screens, uh, fighting with each other for rebounds and loose balls and stuff. So it'll, uh, it'll be a good test to see where we are as a team on Sunday. It'll also be uh, fun to play against somebody that, you know, doesn't know every play that we're trying to run, et cetera, et cetera. Are we good? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what, uh, I was going to ask Thad the same thing, but um, what are you maybe looking for, other than what you just talked about, what are you looking to get established in this game and maybe clean up some of the things that didn't, um, uh, didn't go so well when you had the scrimmage at West Virginia? Um, just our new system, really. We haven't really got to put it against other players yet. We've been putting it against ourselves, really. So just seeing how we're going to... Uh, play with our zone, our new tempo on offense, just see how that goes against another team. We didn't get to do too much of it against West Virginia because of their style of play, but uh, I think now we can really see how it's going to go. <clears throat> Shane, you said different tempo. How different is it going to look for you guys offensively this year than maybe we've, you know, the last few years we've seen? I mean, how do you anticipate things might look? Um, we just really want to push the ball now. I mean, we know a lot of times last year we did push the ball, but uh, there were times that we just kind of walked the ball up the court, uh, kind of stagnant, kind of robotic when we play. But now we just want to keep going and being in attack mode at all times. Your like, specialty is pushing the ball, and now you're the point. Mm -hmm. No, you guys miss Aaron Kraft, I'm assuming, but now that he's not here, do you think that that has an impact on the way you guys are going to play? Uh, I mean, Aaron was a great player, but I feel like just with the players that we have now, we kind of just feed into our our, uh, our strengths and weaknesses that we have. So I think pushing the ball is really going to help our team this year with the athletes that we do have and uh, the shooters that we have. Sam, does it feel different at all? Yeah, I think it feels different. Um, you know, obviously, personnel-wise, not having Kraft, not having Lizzo, no Q and Amadeo, uh, it feels a bit different in that respect. But I think uh, this year, uh, there's a lot more ball movement. There's a lot more player movement. You know, uh, the last couple of years in our uh, sort of our ball screen motion that we've been running, um, you know, if, if if we weren't playing well, the ball could have very easily ended up sticking in one player's hands for 20, 25, 30 seconds in the shot clock, and then someone fires up a three at the end of the uh, clock. You know, uh, we've worked very hard early on in the uh, the season in practice, and uh, we really have a lot of good player movement. We have a lot of good pace on offense, a lot of good ball movement. So, I think. Uh, even in the half court when we do have to walk it up, you'll see a lot different tempo from us. We saw last weekend in the open scrimmage you guys held that there was a lot of like fast break opportunities for both of you guys and with D'Angelo. What's it like for you, Sam? I mean, getting out in the open court, maybe catching a few lob passes and having a better chance to showcase your skills? It's, uh, it's huge, you know, uh, you know, not just for me, for, um, for everyone on this team. You know, we have so many uh, good athletes, so many guys that can get out and make plays and transition, you know, for themselves, for their, uh, for their teammates, so um, <clears throat> it's huge for us to get out and transition and get some easy buckets to uh, really dictate the tempo of the game and uh, really have our defense uh, feed into some points on the offensive end. Obviously, you guys want to run the ball this year, get out, and, you know, a lot of tempo. But when it does, you know, you do have to play the half court. You guys have had sort of a rotation uh, in the post. Obviously, Amir's been here a while. How comfortable are you guys with uh, feeding the ball down low? And, and what do you think you guys can accomplish offensively this season down there? Um, I think we have a lot of. A lot of great post players this year. I mean, Amir and Trey's really worked on their game. Anthony's come along now and uh, really playing well down there in the post. So I feel like having a good uh, presence down there is really going to help all of our games outside and just keep the floor really open for us. When we guys, when we talk to you guys in Chicago uh, to now, what's been the biggest thing that you've seen? How, how far have you guys improved from you know the two weeks since we've last spoke to you? Um, now that yeah, I mean, you know, we have such a young team, so many new guys that uh, any time that you have, you know, the two weeks that we had, which that probably like 11, 12 practices, uh, you know, we, we just get a lot better. You know, the, the new guys need to learn the system. They need to learn 
what Coach Mata expects of them. They need to learn, you know, uh, where everyone else is going to be on the court, uh, both offensively and defensively. So I think we've just uh, gotten that added level of familiarity with each other uh, with being on the court for these uh, last two weeks. So um, I think that'd probably be the biggest thing. Uh, yeah, that'd be the biggest thing. Does it feel, I'll start with you, Sam, does, it, does D'Angelo feel like a freshman? I, we heard a lot of really good things from the West Virginia scrimmage. I know you guys are going to be relying on him a lot. Does it? Does he feel like a freshman when you guys are in practice? I mean, what's your take on the way he plays the game? Um, I don't think he feels like a freshman. Uh, he, uh, he, he has a great feel for the game. He has a basketball, his, his feel for the game, his basketball <coughs> IQ is definitely uh, higher than a freshman level. Um, some of the passes that he makes, some of the things that he sees out on the court, on the, on the floor, is, uh, is, is definitely beyond his years. So I don't think he feels like a freshman in that respect. You know, uh, just like anyone, you know, it's going to be a uh, tough season. He's going to have to uh, adjust to the college game. And uh, I think the older guys on the team have to do a good job of uh, really making that easy for him. But um, we, he, he definitely doesn't seem like a freshman out on the court. You know, we're expecting big things from him. You, you called last year's offense ball screen motion. What's this year? What's the style? Uh, huh. I don't know. Normal. Yeah, yeah not ball screen like a, motion. <laughs> just regular motion. We don't have motion. a name for it, really. But um, I mean, we just want to really push the ball. Just, uh, I guess, constant offense, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, it's a good one. I don't know. It's, uh, you know, there's still ball screens in this one. Um, you know, guys are still going to be taking people off the dribble, stuff like that. But um, I think that the, the ball will just be moving from side to side much more than it was a, uh, last year when we got stagnant in our offense. And, and Thad said you talked a little bit about going down low. Um, Thad said he wants to play through the low post. Um, was that something that you didn't do enough of last year, or does this the way you're playing now lend itself more to that? You got it. Yeah, yeah. Right. I think it's a combination of both. You know, um, you know, like I said uh, last year, sometimes we get stagnant on offense, and we'd end up with one guy, you know, up there dribbling for you know 20 25 seconds of the shot clock um this year i think that the system uh, has been changed a bit and i think that uh we 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 in our minds know that we need to get the ball inside that a the bigs can uh, score and get fouled and uh, b they make it much easier for us when the defense collapse and they're they're willing and able passers out of the post so um i think it's a bit of a combination of both and you mentioned shannon you mentioned zone um that has kind of said that he might play both. Mm -hmm. Do you think you'll play primarily one, or could this be a team that switches in and out of different defenses through the course of a game? Um, I think we can switch. We have a, a lot of players who have a good understanding of man to man could be playing that all of our lives, but then the new zone has really been effective for us. So, so I feel like uh, with the athletes that we do have, the zone's really going to work out, but uh, I think man can still be an option for us too. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.